So from a nine foot painting to a nine foot sculpture. That's the sort of highbrow link we're looking for, isn't it? This is Wild Man by Australian artist Ron Muick. And I mean, who doesn't want to see a big hairy naked guy sat on a stool? If he's making you feel anxious, I don't think he's any better. Look at him, his feet are pointed, his shoulders are hunched up around his ears. He looks so anxious. He looks like I think a doctor might be coming at him with a needle or perhaps it's a barber with a pair of scissors. He is, after all, the wild man. The hair, the beard. Until lockdown, if you looked like this, you'd have been on the fringes of our society. And I think what Muick is saying here is, OK, well, who's afraid of who? Because he is scary. I've seen him. I was doing a day's work in Manchester, nipped out at lunchtime, went into the Manchester Art Gallery, and wallop, there he was, the Colossus. And then there was a really odd atmosphere in the room. People almost tiptoed round him. It reminded me of a game of uh, What's the Time, Mr Wolf. Like we were all afraid he was going to hey, leap up and grab us, his big old schlong swinging in our heads. And this is Muick's stock in trade. Uh, not the schlong in the head, of course, but the, the idea of putting us in the land of the giants. He makes these massive, oversized figures that make us think about our own bodies. It's about the way that our skin sags or where we have blemishes and all our veins and where we're sprouting hair from in weird places. We see it every day on ourselves and on other people, but we don't take any notice. And the scale of these, whether they're his smaller figures or these oversized ones, stop us in our tracks and make us look at ourselves. And the results are quite grotesque. But that's us, I'm afraid. I mean, there's no photoshopping in Ron Muick's world. I mean, I got a great butt, but if you took mine or Kim Kardashian's and blew it up to this kind of scale, the results are not very nice to look at, to be honest. And that's the point. This is us. This is us in all our, our glory or lack of it. Wildman himself is inspired by a colossal stone sculpture of the river god Apennino, which is out near Florence in Italy. <laughs> oh, that's something, isn't it? Now consider this, that was made in 1580. 1580 by a Renaissance artist called Gian Bologna. I mean, that is a good day at the office. I've never had a day like that. Back to work, back to Muick. His parents, they were doll and toy makers and he used to watch them work and that's how he learnt his trade. So you start with a wee drawing, then you make a little sculpture called a maquette out of clay and from that you can scale up and eventually make your bigger fibreglass figures as he does. It's sort of the same process that you'd find in film and TV, something like Jim Henson's Creature Workshop. And actually, prop making is where Muick started out his career. Now, there's nothing to say that if you went to a gallery and Jim Henson's Creatures from the Dark Crystal are in front of you, and I'm saying this because I went to see them last year in London, it's not brilliant, because it is. I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed marvelling at the imagination and the craftsmanship. Well, there's imagination and there's craftsmanship in Muick's work too, but there's something else. They make you feel. That's what makes them art. They burn themselves into your brain. You'll be thinking about them days after you stood in front of them. And for me, they kind of evoke not a lot of fun, but feelings of sadness and fear and empathy and sympathy. It's everything that's tied to us, our mortality. You, me, why are we here? These are the big questions. You can't ask for much more than that from your art, can you?